Hello and welcome to Flight Simulation 7. Today we're heading off to Denver and I am really excited to try out Southwest during the pandemic. I have flown with Southwest, of course, before, but I've not seen what how their product has changed since the pandemic and if they're still if they still have that high level of service that they used to. Anyway, let's head to the airport. Our air correct was November 752 Sierra Risky, which is around 21 years old. was good but not free of problems. I would have liked to see a better snack service for this flight because it was scheduled to three and a half hours, which is a while. Also, the crew seemed quite unmotivated. I think that may be why the flight attendant announced the wrong city at the end, which honestly was really, really funny. I think the seat on Southwest is quite comfortable. Also, the airplane was much cleaner than it was before the pandemic. Which is a great sign that Southwest is fulfilling their promises to keep a clean airplane. Anyway, I'm, I was overall quite satisfied with this flight, and as a bonus, we arrived early. Flight was delayed, but I don't care about that so much. But I thought the Southwest handled the delay badly, and 
instead of being truthful on how long it took, they little by little pushed back our departure time, which made the delay harder on everybody. Our aircraft was the same type as last time, a Boeing 737-700. Unfortunately, I don't know the tail number. I forgot to look it up, and it was hard seeing it around the angles in the airport. I apologize. Like we're in fast, over 700 miles per hour. I think Southwest did a fantastic job overall on the two flights. Southwest definitely has good value, having prices more resembling basic economy on other airlines and coming with a lot more included with the fares. These fares costed $238 for the round trip from Pittsburgh to Denver, Denver to Pittsburgh. That's really good, and that was around the same price as United's basic economy. I think that Southwest is an awesome value proposition and I would recommend almost anyone to fly Southwest. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in to Flight Simulation 7. As always, happy flying.